What's going on, everyone? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Tuesday, but it is a late Tuesday night. It's about 9 o'clock, which is late for us. <laughs> we haven't really been working in the evenings lately, but we have the past... I don't know, a couple couple times the last couple weeks, trying to get caught up on a bunch of stuff, and I'm going to turn over to Kathy so we can show you guys what has sold for us for uh, Tuesday. Uh, I think this is from about yesterday afternoon, so I think, what, you said you had about 16 or 17 sales? Yeah, it was a pretty good sales day. Yeah. Um, tomorrow's Wednesday, yeah, so we have, like, a full work day, so I wanted to do this tonight so that we can spread everything out tomorrow and not yeah. have to, like... We pick up a little bit for the video, so it's not like super duper messy. Yeah, Kathy doesn't like to get into <laughs> a, a project, things in different. <laughs> right, and then have to clean things up so that we can have somewhere to put the stuff that we're picking video, picking in the video. So and then I just takes extra time, so I'm like, let's do this tonight. We'll drop them off first thing. And yeah, have and you had enough sales to do it. Work day, yeah, and then we'll do two more days on Friday. Okay. So these Crocs, which we got from the bins, I think we showed them in a recent bins haul. $1.21 cost of goods into $25 sale on Poshmark. Uh, that was an offer I accepted. Sending out in a medium flat rate box. CG. Some Adidas wrestling shoes, bought for $8.99, sold for $35.95 plus shipping. Very nice. Yeah. We have had the question recently, like, how are we using, like, uh, how do we know when to use medium flat rates or uh, regional rate Bs and As? And we, uh, when you do Poshmark, <laughs> right, so we're, we do sell on multiple platforms, and when you sell on Poshmark, you are able to use any of them. So, you know, you'll notice she's using a medium flat rate here, which is a Poshmark sale, and this one is, what, an eBay sale, I'm assuming, or maybe right. Mercari. So this just says mailing box, yeah. which means you're just paying for the weight and the size. Yeah. Um, the dimensions are on all the boxes, but yeah, so flat rate, you have to, if it's not Poshmark, you have to pay a specific amount. I don't. I don't even know what the medium right. is. Right, it's it not like, normally worth it. The shoebox like is way more. It's probably something yeah. now. Um, but yeah, I rarely find an occurrence where like that's a better deal than just paying per pound. Unless um, it's something very, very heavy. Yeah, you can always check, but yeah. And then regionals, I never really use. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're if, if you can fit it in there and it's over two pounds, you might get a better deal doing it that way on the A's. Yeah. I don't know about that. I have not figured the B's out. I, it might just be where we live. It's not necessary, but yeah, every right. time I check a B, it's like 20 something dollars, even for like two pounds. So. so odds are, if you see us using like a regional rate box or a flat rate box, um, it's a Poshmark sale. <laughs> and <laughs> you can usually tell by the screenshots that we put up the Poshmark, you know, little, I guess screenshot <laughs> has its own look. And so, yeah, we're able to use any of those. And you, if you do sell on Poshmark, it says it right on the label there. So yeah. that's that's how we do it. <laughs> yep. I sold this joie. Joie? That's how you say it. Perhaps. Um, Sounds French. Yeah, it's just a new attack dress. This actually I bought for myself over the summer at Marshall's. Never wore it. I listed it a couple weeks ago for $39.95 plus shipping and someone bought it. So I'm still making some profit off of this even though it was technically a personal buy. Mm -hmm. uh, that is under a pound. I'm still using my Halloween minutes. <laughs> Couple more left to go. There's gotta be some kind of grace period, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, and then box D. So the kids, this was my son's Abercrombie flannel. I don't know where I got it, but I'm sure I didn't pay much for it. Sold it for 16 plus shipping on Mercari, so not too bad for a kid's flannel. Yeah. I'm sure I did not pay like $14 for it, which is about <laughs> what I'm getting back on that. You didn't buy it at Abercrombie? <laughs> no, I don't buy any. <laughs> I barely buy anything new from places. We got a viewer sale to Zach. Awesome. Bundle. So we got this Disney Toad Hall Mayhem t-shirt. And then BK is down here, right? Yeah. What else did he get? Oh, I love this shirt. I wanted, I wanted just to wear this one, but he didn't. This is just like a nice Under Armour 
short sleeve like hoodie. It's like that really nice, like almost like Nike tech material though. Mm. So, I hope you like it, Zach. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the bundle. So for $42.41 plus shipping, and I had, this was something I bought from Jew, Profit Monsters on whatnot for myself to wear over the summer. So I did have $20 into that and only $3.93 into the Under Armour. So. Okay. Thank you so much, Zach. Zach. Thank you so much for all that amazing support. <laughs> yeah. And I know I could have probably uh, put that in like a pad of flat rate, but I know Zach likes boxes and yeah. he also lives in Minnesota, so it's not it's not that much more to right. use a box anyway. So we're doing a mailing box on that. CO. Some Dansko XPs. These are a really nice pair. I did pay $17.99 for them at Goodwill, but I sold them for $52 plus shipping on Mercari. That's still about a $25 profit, which is great. Yeah. eBay box because they're going UPS. All right, I did decide to list this instead of give it to Chris's dad. So <laughs> I accepted an $11 offer on Poshmark for it, like within a day of listing it. So yeah. I think it probably could have sold for a little more, but I got it at the bin, so I only had a dollar twenty-one. You know, the sales on eBay were around like twenty. Some of them free shipping even. So right. I figured with eleven dollars plus this buyer's paying shipping on Posh, he's right about at that price anyway. So yeah, I took it. Wasn't gonna hold out for a few extra dollars, and I like to flip things quickly. If it was more like Jack Daniels or something, yeah. that's my dad's. You know, he likes Jack. So <laughs> Fireball, he. I don't think he drinks. He just has it for his friends and stuff. So, um, yeah, if it was Jack Daniels, it would be giving it to him for sure. This will fit. Maybe like a... Could roll it up in a shoebox or something. I don't want to roll it. We'll figure out a good box for this. <laughs> All right. Are we going to Franken box for the fireball oh, pad? It probably will fit in like a mailing box. That was the regional. Oh, thing. I like see. The I smallest see. one. All right, BB. Oh, this was a cool video. These are these Chico's I showed on a video a while back. Not too a while back, maybe in the last month or so. The last couple of months have kind of <laughs> <Yeah>. all <laughs> melded together. So, I got these at Goodwill like on a half off day, so I only paid $4. They're Chico's, which I don't normally buy, but they were new at tag, $4, and they had like some really nice beading down them, so. The retail was like 139 I was like, I could at least probably get 30 Yeah. Um, but I listed them really high and got an offer for 50 So hey. $4 into 50 is great. So you said on the on the haul video that you were going to think 30 or? I don't remember exactly what I said, yeah. but I, it, just in my head, like, I didn't look up comps because they were right. $4. Like, a pair of new tight jeans yeah. can pretty much get $30, I would right. think so, with right. a beading. Beading, embroidery, stuff like that, you can usually get some decent that money extra for. little detail, yeah. And actually, I think this next item is an embroidered pair of jeans. Yeah, so these are Lucky. This is an older pair of Lucky, too, so I almost passed, but I liked the floral embroidery, so I bought them. They were $4.79, and I sold them for $23 with discount shipping on Posh. Nice. I guess I could be putting those in padded flat reads, but <laughs> the other day I was like, I need to save space from boxes. Because we had a lot going boxes, out. <laughs> they still kind of have a lot. <laughs> they might not fit in the whole kit. Okay. Kohan. Some women's Kohan Zero Grand Oxford shoes, bought for $8.99, sold for $24.97 plus shipping. Those ones are under a pound going first class. I don't know that they're, they're size 10, so it'll be a close fit to fit in a regular size poly, but we'll try it. Okay. Worst case, we'll have to bump <laughs> up the size of the poly. Yeah. So first class, you can't use any of the, yeah. these are priority. So that's completely different mail service. You could use like a brown box, but it would as have long to as it's under the weight. And yeah. these are like, I think 13 ounces. So I would not be able to. Here's 
So I wrote Michelle question mark because I thought these might be a viewer just because they left a note saying thank you. Okay. My daughter's feet will be so warm and happy now. So, <laughs> um, but they might have just been a nice buyer that yeah. was leaving a note. So if if you're a viewer, thank you so much, Michelle. Um, and these are just some little girl Uggs bought for nine dollars sixty cents at Once Upon a Child, sold for thirty one ninety six plus shipping on eBay. Awesome. Michelle, again, if you happen to be a viewer, we do thank you, and we do hope your daughter's feet stay warm. Yes. <laughs> All right. A, this is kind of a fun sale because it's just a random thing I bought at the bins. That is not like something I'd even look for at a normal Goodwill, but at the bins, you just grab stuff and look it up. So I think the brand was Unitron, so it's like a hearing aids case, just like the like a carrier. Okay. Like a glasses case, but for hearing aids. Right. Um, but yeah, just an empty case, bought for $1.83, sold for $15 plus shipping. It sold really fast though. Okay. So, thought that was cool. Yeah. Probably bubble wrap that a little bit, but just putting it in a mailer. All right, DG. Um, some play shoes for adults. I did buy these retail arbitrage for 15 They've been sitting forever, so they went into our 50% off sale and sold for $28.44 plus shipping. Okay. So about an $8, $9 profit. Yeah. Not great. Um, I have, you saw one more pair in there. Yeah. And then I have one other pair in a different size. So I did uh, end and relist them on eBay. So hopefully they, the last two pairs maybe sell for closer to like 40 but Right. I mean, fifteen dollars retail arbitrage to a nine dollar profit isn't horrible. No, I like no. to double my money, but. <laughs> um, so you said at fifty percent off, so it's been they've been listed yeah. for at least six yeah. months it's at this been point. A while. Um, there's the other pair right there. Oh yeah, <laughs> but I get you know play shoes, kids shoes kids do really well. Really fast, yeah. And so, except for the sandals. That I've been yeah. <laughs> I sold a lot, but I sell a lot left too. Yeah. Yeah, the sneakers go really fast, around $30, even pre-owned. So maybe a little bit more selective on the adult shoes if you happen to see them. Yeah. Um, but play the kids' ones, great sellers. Yep. Um, this is the brand Fancher, which when I saw these, they reminded me of Ufos. Um, and actually, I kind of bought them thinking I'd use them like at the gym or something. Like They're kind of like recovery sandals, just like, just like a really cushiony sandal to wear after a workout or something. I think. <laughs> so anyways, I just I wore them like once or twice and they're just like so squishy like I couldn't get used to it. So I listed them. But I paid $3.99, <laughs> sold for $28 with discount shipping, so not too bad. Cool. Yeah. Um thinking that region will be on those. Okay. Oh, got a viewer still. I feel like I just saw that machine. These are going out to Shannon, who buys many shoes from us. Uh, these are a nice pair of teal Allbirds. These were actually my personal shoes, and I loved them. But I was just ready to get something different. Yeah. So uh, Shannon grabbed them for $54 with discount shipping on Posh. So thank you so awesome. much, Awesome. Shannon. Shannon, thank you so much for that support. We appreciate it. Hope you like them as much as Kathy did. Yeah. Flat rate, and then box P. This was a really cool sale. All sales are really cool sales. But... See, as cool as this guy. Oh, you were laying off. so good. He was laying so good. Let me get up. He needs to rest. He's <laughs> old. You old? I'll go lay down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these are a pair of Everlane flats, which I've sold a few pairs, and they've all yeah. sold really well for really good money. Uh, this pair, I got at Goodwill for $10.99. They basically look like new, but if you don't know what Everlane is, like Goodwill obviously doesn't. So they priced them at $10.99 instead of a lot more, but I sold them right. for $79.95 plus shipping. Hey. So really good. I hope they like Halloween. <laughs> under a pound. I thought about putting them in a box, but I just take it my chances. Yeah. All right, and then box V. So would you pick up every Everlane you find <laughs> that's in good shape? If it's in good shape, yeah. yeah. At least right now. What are we in November now? November 2022. 2022. So if you see this in a year, <laughs> things comps. could change. Yeah. <laughs> if you see this in a month, things could yeah. change. Yep. Yeah, but right now Everlane, it's it's all done really well for me. Yeah. Uh, and this is Calia, I think that's how you say it, by Carrie Underwood. Um, 
athletic wear. So these are just like a pair of shorts I bought from actually Becky Park on her whatnot. And I did buy them for myself, they just did not fit. So I relisted them. I was all in $12.74 with shipping and everything, and I sold them for $23 with discount shipping on Posh. So I made a couple cool. dollars profit there. Yeah. So yeah. Pretty much everything I bought for myself on whatnot has not fit, but I have like <laughs> my money back or some profit even, which is cool. What am I doing? Oh, that's Posh. Tyvek. Yeah, because whatnot has no returns, right? Even for fit. Yeah, not for fit. Like if they don't describe it right or something. Right, like that, yeah. But those i mean i guess they fit but like i don't know i just didn't they're navy blue i wasn't thinking i don't really have any like shirts <laughs> to match them but they're really cute though. yeah so that was the last of them that was the last let's one. uh let's get these things packed up and then we'll be right back all righty guys got everything packed up and stacked horribly i took my slippers off because oh. my feet got warm <laughs> i almost panned down to your feet <laughs> But they're ready for Kathy to stack. However, she she likes to stack it all nice. I, I'm not great. I'm not that critical. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna do it for tonight. It's a little after nine thirty. Yeah, it's I kind of wanna. I redid my board. Yeah, redid I, the board. It's only been one day. <laughs> well, Kathy's. I have already not caught up with it. <laughs> well, I did list fifteen yesterday, so if I can keep it up, okay. I can be back on track. But today I've only done five. So I'd have to do 10 more, which I do already have them drafted. So I can oh, shouldn't that, be too bad. Do we I do have a good to? doctor That's to watch. The, okay, I could put it, yeah, I can pump out 10 while we want. <laughs> so, yeah. And then you can ask me what happened to the whole show like you normally do. Pretty much. <laughs> Who's that? So, yeah. uh, that's the main character. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hopefully back to 15 a day or at yeah. least around 100 a week. Is that your goal? I was, I, yeah. I was, I didn't want to put you on the spot, mm -hmm. but I did want to ask you soon in the early part of the month, <laughs> what are your goals for November as far as listing and stuff? Because well, I see we have a whole week, a yeah, week with no school for Thanksgiving. Be a hard one. So if I can really do good, I can maybe get drafts ready, an extra bunch of drafts ready. Yeah. And so I can still list this week without having to be up here much. Yeah. Um, also, yeah. I think we are celebrating Thanksgiving on the 12th. Okay. Because my sister is going to be in town. She's just got off deployment. So. so I don't really do much on Saturdays anyway. Yeah. So, so okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to keep my goals the same. My goals are either, it's like an and or thing. So I try to do 15 a day, which is 105 a week, um, or $4,000 of listed items. Yeah. Which 400, if I do that every day, doesn't even get me to the 4,000. So hopefully today's listings equals more than 400. <laughs> what is it? I don't even know. It's I think it's like 575 or something that I had to do a day? per day, like on average, yeah. So if I do like shoes, I usually end up in like the seven eight hundred, which yeah. is why I like shoes. Um, but yeah, which so, you did get to go source, and you found quite oh a few yeah, shoes I was today. Gonna, huh? Maybe if we get good work done up here tomorrow, I'll record a whole. Maybe another my whole shoe. Car is pretty something. much full. Yeah, it wasn't bins; it was just normal thrifts. But I got some good stuff, so I'll show you guys. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? No. No? No more announcements? No. Announcements? No. My, Feels like church, My right? birthday's in two weeks. Oh, yeah. yeah Can't forget the birthday. I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday. Probably nothing because it's in the middle of the weekend. Our kid has like a, a thing out of school that day too, so. I've got a little something planned for us on Saturday. Oh, okay. Well, Friday mm -hmm. night, so. Awesome. <laughs> don't do not do anything Friday night. Keep your schedule open. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> right. so, so much to do. <laughs> all right, guys. That is going to do it for today's video, tonight's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the amazing support today. We do appreciate it, and we will see you guys next time.